coming to you from cottage country. That's right, something's rotten in Huntsville. What is it? It's Michael Andrew Terziano's hair. We have it from reliable sources that at this very moment, Michael Terziano, 18, of Huntsville, is getting a perm. Well, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to witness a live hair bust. We're coming at you live now from the hollowed homes of Huntsville High School. This is where Michael Andrew Terziano entered in September of 1983. However, sometime in this past year, things started to go wrong. We intend to show you why. Here comes one of his friends now. You're a great snipe, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I am. And, and you know you know Michael Terziano, correct? Yes. Do you know that in this past year, he got a perm? No, no, stop filming, stop, stop, I don't know what you're talking Here we are with one of Michael's teachers. Mr. Taylor, did you know Michael Terziano? Oh yes, I knew Michael well. Uh, until last year, something happened. That's not what you wanted. Here we are with John Snelson, Michael's current history teacher. Mr. Snelson, uh, what do you know about Michael Terziano? I've known Michael for a long time. As a matter of fact, I've known him ever since he was a baby and he was known as Michael the Biter. But um, that's in the past. Right now, currently, Michael, there's been a change in Michael. He used to be a good student, widely respected by his peers, his teachers spoke well of him. But then something happened. I'm not quite sure what it was, but there was a difference about him. Like, particularly around his head, there was something that was different that wasn't there before. Um, his behavior changed as well. His, he looked different, he was acting differently, um, it was as if he got into a bad batch of drugs, or had been to Port Sydney, or something like this. Here we are with some of Michael's schoolmates. You know Michael, don't you? Uh, yes, I do. I've known Michael, well known Michael, for such a long time. And something about him changed, didn't it? Something happened. Yeah, he changed. Yeah. Something about his head or something. Yeah. Don't you think so? Yeah. Here we are on Huntsville's main street where we've just spotted the suspect's vehicle, cleverly concealed in this parking lot. Another piece in the puzzle. Here we are in the CFBK building. Home with Prudential Insurance, White Basin Promises, CFBK, and the Upper Cut, a so-called beauty salon. But we happen to know it's a den of perms. Let's go in. Hey, well, can't, can't we go up here? No. A strict orders. Mr. Chersano said nobody's going up there. We're with CBC News and we have to get up here. I'm sorry, no cameras. We can't let you up there. Oh. I mean, we're getting our hair cut. Oh, well, I guess that's okay. Okay, here we go. Hey, you know. Let's go in. <laughs> Mr. Cruziano, what do you have to say to the world? What are you trying to hide, Mr. Cruziano? Hide, hide, I'm not You are Mr. Cruziano, aren't you? You admit that? I don't have to say anything, I speak for my attorney. Uh, ma'am, ma'am, how long has Mike had the perm habit? Do you know? Six years? Six years now? <laughs> <laughs> We've lost count. What was it? 1979? Yeah. 1979. I think it would have been 1980, just prior to the Falkland Island War. <laughs> And this is where we're going to end this sad story. The sad story of a man and his hair. Michael Terziano, member of that sad side of society that has the perm habit. Good night.